Aquarius, hi, it's Elle. I know I have been missing, but I'm back. Um, thank you to all who continue to say subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Uh, thank you to those who like, share, and comment. Um, let's get into this. So this is for Aquarius, uh, June 2020. So Aquarius, we have the situation, your advice, the outcome, if you take the advice of the cards. Down here, we have what your partner wants to say to you. And then we have a few cards over here uh, for career and finance, okay? So the overall energy of the entire read is the five of swords. Um, Aquarius, there could be strife, jealousy, argument. Amongst people who you thought were not like you, but they thought like you. Um, you, amongst people you felt like you had some, they were like a kindred spirit. Like th this is someone who you could, um, converse with, uh, confide in and, and vice versa. Uh, but there could be jealousy here. Um, there could also be something or someone inserting themselves in, uh, your life your relationship, your situationship, your whatever. And this could be someone that you already know. This could also be a stalker, uh, someone who is continuously keeping tabs on you. This, you know, social media, maybe asking around about you. A lot of grief is with, is with this person who is stalking you. In, in certain situations, especially going back to jealousy, you want to question your motives, question the, the other person's motives. Uh, what were they trying to um, get at? What was their end game here? And what was yours? Maybe in, in some specific argument, you might want to question your motive. What, what were you about? Did you go into the argument, the situation with some pre, some predestined type of, in, uh, predestined type of, uh, way of how you would handle it? Like if you knew that you were going to cut this person off. They could say whatever, they could do whatever. You already know this is what you're doing. So you just went into that um, already knowing what, what you wanted to do, what you deem necessary. So it's asking you to question your motives. There could be people around you who are jealous of um, maybe a specific, I said specific, <laughs> specific relationship that you guys that you may be in involved in right now this could be a friendship it could be a romantic relationship but there could be someone who is jealous um envious will cause problems um you thought that things were going ahead but then there was re reversal like you've been down this road with someone before uh and you're back here again. Something just keeps inserting itself, popping back up. Someone won't get over the past or someone does something repeatedly that brings you back to, uh, you know, feelings of, of the past or, or a feeling like you need to deal with something or deal with that same something or someone in the same manner that you did, that you did in the past. If it's cutting somebody off, cutting somebody out, standing up for yourself. Maybe you've had to do this with this particular job, person, place, thing, whatever before. Um, all right, so let's get into it. So this is the situation. Eight of Wands, things are happening rather quickly. Um, you, you manifest it. You pray about it. You may even have dreams about it. You have your own it. Uh, and, then it and then it comes to... to to life it comes to 3d some of you are very powerful 
with this. Um, you think of something, you dream about it, you, you manifest it in whatever way, whether it's ritual or prayer, and it, it is here. And it's, it's just right there for you. And uh, maybe if it, if it involves others, then it's manifesting for others also. Some of you are getting a lot of interaction, a lot of uh, uh, suitors, a lot of people admiring you. I'm feeling like this is from afar, where some of you are online dating. Um, lots of messages back. Some of you, the way the mode of communication between someone you're in a relationship with or someone you really like is is um, texting or email or it's not face to face. Some of you, if you're dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, you are trying to talk about the problems, the jealousy in the relationship, or someone wants to talk to you about this. I don't know if you are exactly open, because once again, we have an eight. Maybe this, this situation has gone on before. The advice for you is the king of wands. Um... Be focused. Be focused in what you are trying to bring to life, what you're trying to manifest uh, in your life. If this this is typically a husband, uh, and he's a, the husband with, with children, so he's a father. Um, if, if this is what you're trying to manifest, this person back, maybe this Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or male Cancer, um, if you're trying to manifest this person back, or um, manifest a person like this, uh, be focused, be direct in your desires. Um, don't let anything move you. Don't be, don't be, don't be waved. Don't, don't waver. The king of wands has an idea he or she moves on that idea. You could be dealing with the uh, Leo or, or Sagittarius. Um, this is a committed man. If this is what some of you are trying to manifest, looks like you're doing the work to bring this about, whether this is like energy work. Yeah, energy work here. Um, yeah, energy work here. Uh, it looks like this is what you're, you're trying to do. You're trying to manifest a commitment, a committed man. Maybe you have children with this man or you want children with this man. This is a very responsible person. They're very outgoing. They're charismatic. They're funny, uh, jovial, just, uh, charming, attractive, tall, maybe that. Uh, for some of you, this is a marriage. And there's a lot of strife in the marriage. Um, and you just want this person, or this person wants you, Aquarius, just to be committed to the relationship, committed to making it work. And you're trying to talk about the issues in the marriage, in the relationship. Some of you, you're just trying to manifest this. Um... Some of you can get out of your own way. Okay? So the advice is for you to be focused, direct in your desires, in what you want. The, the affirmation of the King of Wands is, I want. You know, so well, you could, you know, replace that with, I desire. So what are your desires? Um, be focused and direct and know that it will come to pass for you uh, if you're focused and direct. So that's the advice. The outcome, if you take the advice of the cards, uh, is the Ace of Swords and the Two of Wands. Okay, very, very good outcome. Um, firstly, for some of you who are married, this is saying that you, you're going to have communication that 
it's going to be decisive and maybe even divisive. Like you're going to decide to um, go in a new direction as a couple. You could even further your partnership here. You're making the decision to move forward, to further this partnership. But it's only going to come by way of maybe truth and clarity. And you guys being, this is um, some of you going to counseling. Uh, you're talking things out. Some of you, the counsel is with, with yourself. Because some of you, you are your own worst enemy. You are in your way. So you have to make peace in your mind. Excuse me, in your, in your mind. Um, to actually decide to actually have this relationship. Now, this could be a challenge. The challenge is getting over the hurdle of maybe infidelity, um, you know, selfishness, whatever is going on in your particular relationship. This is a victory, but not without the, the challenge of the new beginning. The challenge is actually realizing uh, communicating to the other person that you 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 want this relationship, you want to further it, you want to take it to the next level and make plans for the future. You want this relationship for some of you. Um, the advice I just heard for some of you, the advice is that you already have your husband. He's 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 here for you. But you're going to have to, once again, get out of your own way. And you're going to have to, so you have to decide to be committed to your decision. Some of you have not had what you've wanted out of a relationship because you're the fear of commitment. Not now, not the fear of being committed to a particular person, but you can't even commit to doing the legwork of having a relationship going through the ups and downs, knowing that when you meet somebody, they probably have five or six different people they're talking to. So in the beginning, it is a competition. May the best woman, may the best man win, right? So this is cha challenge of a new beginning. And you have to decide that you're going to stick, stay in this, uh, stick with it. Some of you, you, you're right on the brink of having exactly what you want, but you won't decide to stick with it even in the ch in the challenging times the ace of sword time and that's typically in the beginning so for some of you this could be a new relationship for some of you this is talking it out with counsel or or getting out of your own way if you really want the the relationship if you really want the marriage um yeah okay so what your person, this is a really good outcome, Aquarius. All spirit is telling you is just to get serious about if you like this person. But a hiccup comes up in the relationship. Maybe you saw a text message from another woman or vice versa, another man. You're going to throw the relationship away for a text message? You know, you have to determine if you're going to stick through this through the challenge and the challenge is typically the beginning uh, it says you're going to have victory here this person likes you they want to be with you too but it's still very new uh there's not gonna it's not gonna be um you know very rarely will you meet a person who is like super super single like no one's calling their phone no one's after them um Especially if it's an attractive woman or an attractive man. Uh, so, yeah, in the beginning it is. Let the best woman, let the best man win. And um, then you can start trying to build something foundational. But in the beginning, they don't know you. You don't know them. It's, it's the getting to know. So, anyhow, someone needed to hear that. Um, what your person wants to tell you. The Four of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Ace of Wands. Very nice. So, in knowing you, they 
they have been changed. They have been transformed. Transfiguration. I don't know what why I said that word. Um, they aren't telling you exactly how they feel about you. They're holding some things inside. But with you, you're a foundational person. You're, you're a staple in their life. You're not going anywhere. Not to them. Um, they even they might even want to give his relationship a status change. Like, let's move in together. Let's be boyfriend, girlfriend. Let's get married or whatnot. Um, no, keep in mind, this is not the action. This is just what they, you know, what they want to tell you or maybe what they haven't told you yet. Okay. Uh, you've completely changed them. They, they, life is, is fun. It's abundant. They're going in a completely new, different, a new direction, having known you. Because you, you, you light some fire in them. There's, there's desire. There's, um, conversation i'm hearing intellectual conversation there's passion there's fun this person probably wasn't looking for a relationship but they're so happy that they found you and they they're not letting you go not so easy not too easy huh um Yeah, you've shifted something in them. You've changed them. Maybe they were meeting the same type of people over and over again. And, and a spark just wasn't lit within them. They were dating, having fun, I guess, but not really engaged. This person is willing to take action to go in a different direction, whether it's you know, having a girlfriend, having a boyfriend, taking things to the next level. This person is open to it, open to taking action. They're very passionate about you also. Um, yeah, very good. So, Aquarius, let's jump into some career and finance here. The High Priestess and the Ten of Swords. So, you know that you need to decide on one thing or one way of earning income the twos talk about earned income money the exchange you need to decide what it is you want to actually put all of your energy effort time into make the decision so you're cutting something else away it's no longer an option okay um yeah the ten of swords you're gonna have to be done with that way Whatever that way is for you. Uh, and do know that it, and being done with that way and actually making a choice here, an intuitive choice, you, you know what you need to do. Um, hard times are going to be over. The Ten of Swords talks about hard times, strife, stress is over because you have decided. For some of you... Um, some of you, uh, a career in accounting, bookkeeping, secretary work, office work is over or needs to be over. You know what you need to do intuitively to bring in money to earn income. Um, yeah. For some of you, there's like... A male figure that maybe in your workplace that has done something or is doing something and it's just not right. Or this is the final straw is what I'm hearing. Some Somebody is saying, I can no longer deal with this. There's drama, jealousy in, in the workplace. It's either you need to be done with the career altogether or you need to find a new job here. 
some of you, you do something at home, you work from home. Some old way of doing something is over. And some of you do something from home or it's a... Uh, it's not an office job, something based to where it's self-employment here you need to be focused on. Okay, Aquarius, very interesting reading, uh, very good advice from Spirit. Let me get you some additional advice. Uh, yeah, I'll pull some shelves. Um, all right. Here we go. Well, time management. Changing your mind. Healthcare change. Yeah. Uh, so you might need to start taking care of yourself better. Get a second opinion. You could be. Some of you were going to divorce. Some of you were going to separate. You might be changing your mind about that. Some of you are changing your mind, like on a deeper level. To where how you interact in relationship if you don't get your way if things don't go your way if you don't get a desired outcome or whatnot you're you're you would blow up possibly but now you're changing your mind in regards to how you deal with certain certain situation um healthcare change second opinions here moving some of you could be moving or moving on from um bad health or not taking care of your health or moving on from a relationship or situation because there are relationship dynamics. Someone feels differently about the relationship now um, that someone has entered or exit the relationship. Um, yeah, it's time to talk about it. So, yeah. So, once again, somebody could be moving in with someone here. Okay. So, let's get a little bit more clarity and love now. Um, someone you could be moving closer to the person or closer to the job, closer, I don't know, moving. There's something better, success, take action. And big happy changes. Um, yeah. So, for some of you, maybe a relationship ended, or it will end, or you thought it was ending. But now there's something better here. It could be something better here for you, too. You can have success with a particular individual if you take action. Uh, talk. Be assertive. Speak your mind. Uh, big, happy changes can happen or can come from uh, someone taking action. To change their mind or change how they think or change how they act. Something of that nature. Okay? Uh, let's get some shells in here. Let's see. How does Aquarius feel about their person? Okay, I got all these shells. All right, so I feel like there's some lies here. Maybe lack of motivation or encouragement, I'm hearing. Um, some of you miss someone. Do you have I miss you? Someone, you know, that king of wands here. Someone has, you may think that your person has a great body. It's very hard to deal with them or this relationship. Mental issues, you know, maybe there's blockage with you or the other person. Stop. You want either that, that mental issue to stop. Um, maybe it stems from your mom or um, your upbringing or um, you maybe you are a mom and, and you're thinking differently. Let's see how your person feels about you, Aquarius. So, they feel like with you, there's financial abundance. 
They might want to message you. You have kids or they want kids. You, you are their family with that four of pentacles. They feel like it's not, you're not going away. They feel like you could be magical. You have magic here or you make magic happen with that ace of wands here. Uh, beauty, they feel like you have, you, you're beautiful. Beauty is with you or within you. Uh, very nice, Aquarius. I hope that you took something from this reading. From this reading, if you did and you want to book your own reading, you can go over to my website and book there. Um, thank you. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.